probably doesn't look like it, but it has warmed up a bit now. We haven't got the gloves on anyway. It's probably about four degrees today now. Um, still nice in that sun though. But there's a bit of a breeze picked up now and that breeze is, you know, the wind chill's making it feel cold, so. But it's just a nice steady plodding along cruise today. We've uh, been to Thorn Marine at Stockton Heath. Everybody's uh, done what they needed to do there. Stocked up, done this, that, the other. We've got rid of some rubbish. Um, so it's just a straightforward cruise now. The uh, the scenery is fantastic out here. It really is. Uh, this lovely sunshine. The colours are really outstanding. So uh, the next thing is Preston Brook Tunnel. I'll see you there. tell we're in Preston Brook Tunnel now um, going southbound you can only come through on the half hour and you get 10 minutes on the half hour to get in uh, and we got here on the hour so we've had a good half hour wait but um, yeah that was good um, there's a little free book stall thing outside where you can exchange books or lose had a look through that um, we've all had a, a nice warm brew dogs have been off um, so yeah it was perfectly timed actually I mean it's it's always nice to get here and I think yeah straight in but it was nice just to have that warming brew and just stretch your legs a bit so when we get out of here, we get to Dutton Stop Lock, which if you've seen one of the other videos, I can't remember that I recorded it, but it is a lot that is literally about that deep. Um, we're going to get through that and then we've got a, a nice moor in here marked of where we can uh, moor up, so not much longer to go and I can get in front of that fire. So this here is Dutton Stop Lock. And as you can see, there is no difference in it. It literally is that much. So let's get the lock cracked and uh, let's get Lou in.
Well, you can see them two are having fun at least, so uh, if you can hear them in the background while I'm uh, talking to you, you know what they're up to. So this is uh, Friday and we've already had a lot of heavy rain in this morning. The wind isn't too bad at the moment, to be honest. I don't know whether where we are we're sheltered from it um, or not, but we're certainly not being bombarded by the wind too much. Tomorrow, though, apparently is going to be even worse. The wind speeds are going to be twice as strong as they are today, but no rain. So if we're sheltered from the wind, hopefully this spot will be all right. So we're just bunkering down, going to get some housework done, and I want to get some orders done. Remember, you guys are doing well. Keep getting on our website, www.cruisingcrafts.co.uk. Check out everything there. Have a look in the description box, because there might just be a cheeky discount code. Anyway, onwards. Jobs for today. Like I said, we've got a bit of housework to do, get some orders done. But we've also got a bigger job to do today, and that's helping Malcolm. The curse of the alternators has struck again, and Malcolm's alternator has packed in. Um, we've tried everything, um, we've checked it out, the alternator's not putting anything out, so he's not able to charge any of his batteries. So, uh, like we were not that long ago, he's now dead in the water. Sorry, I'm just giving dog treats to dogs to try and keep them quiet while I'm recording. Puppy, good girl. So, we're going to go around this morning. We're going to take the alternator off. Um, we've got a friend, um, that's everybody's friend, that's going to be able to come down with a vehicle and get us off to somewhere where we can get either a repair or a replacement and hopefully get him back uh, up and running soon but uh, we're charging all this stuff up for him so uh, he's still got uh, access to the outside world but uh, I need to go and help him get this alternator off now and then we can get cracking so uh, you can come and have a watch uh, if I can get the camera in the right place uh, if not I'll tell you how it went see you in a bit so there's the alternator Mark's already made a start disconnecting the uh, cables off the back of it. So there's just another couple to do and then we can unbolt the whole thing. Get it off. And get it off to uh, when I can find a auto electrician when you can find some spanners. You probably, uh, you, you just sock it on it. Yeah, better off with the spanner. So we've um, we've been out. We've got the alternator. We've had the mandatory cup of tea before we start the job. So uh, let's get on with it. Oh, let's, uh, this up for you, sir. Yeah, let's bring that round. So here it is. Here's the brand new alternator, which is uh, more ampage. So bigger, better, 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 faster. Bigger, better, faster. All right. So we just put a couple of bolts in there, fasten a couple of wires on there. Jobs are good. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Come on. Dreaming again. Well, it might be a bit noisy, but the uh, new alternator's in. The tackle's working. And we're getting bolted. We probably need to freak the belts a little bit. Just tighten them up.
Have you been playing in the snow? Morning. It's uh, just coming up to about eight o'clock. It's minus four. Everywhere is frozen, as you can see. The canal is frozen. At the very edge round the ball, it's about a quarter of an inch thick. So uh, it's probably a bit thicker a bit further out. We had to had intentions on moving on for an hour or so today. Um, that isn't happening now. <laughs> There's no way I'm pushing through ice uh, and taking all my blacking off. So uh, we'll sit it out for another day or two until this ice has thawed out. Which, looking at the weather forecast, isn't going to be that long. So it's possibly going to be tomorrow we'll move on. Uh, but I want to brew and as is always the gas has gone so <laughs> first job before eight o'clock it's minus four everywhere's frozen the front of the boat's covered in snow it's time to change the gas come on then I think it's a bit cold Gas lock is frozen. Shadow's helping ya. <laughs> Can't feel my fingers. Hey, it's that cold, I cannot feel my fingers at all. Oh. Finally, after 10 minutes of wrestling, it's done. Oh. Oh. My hands are like ice. That was really hard work. Not to self. Make sure the bottles are in the right position. I don't know what hey, we've got mats in the bottom of our gas locker and it's obviously mm. got damp in the bottom of the, uh, the gas locker. Everything is frozen. The gas bottles froze to the mats. The mats froze to the bottom. And I couldn't get the, the hose and the regulator onto the top of the gas bottle because the gas bottle was facing the wrong way and I couldn't turn it round. So we've had boat hooks and all sorts in the bottom trying to free up the mat off the gas bottle. So, make it work so oh. right now it's definitely time for a brew and a warm-up come on <laughs> <laughs> 